Hi, it's Sundance 2014. We're here at the EW Lounge. I'm Sarah Volkomerson. I'm here with Rudderless, Director William H. Macy, Selena Gomez, and Billy Crudup. Hello. Hello. Um, oh, this is the last night. Uh, you guys have the closing slot at the festival, right? Right. That's exciting. And this is your directorial feature debut. It is indeed. And this is a story where you play a father who's grieving for his son, right? That's right. That's right. And he sort of uh, drops out of society for a while and is trying to recover. Doesn't really have the vocabulary to say that, so he's becoming kind of isolated and alone. And uh, comes upon a box of his uh, son's old music and stuff, and it reconnects him with him and uh, starts on a journey of re recovery. And Selena, what about your character? Who do you play? Um, I actually play the son's girlfriend oh. that actually he's grieving over. And she was, I was lucky enough for him to have seen a movie I did and it was a small part and I was about to go on tour so I, I was super excited that I got to fly in and be a part of it and they just had a, a system locked down and the story is really cool. And um, she has a lot of pain, a lot of anger. So it was great. How was it directing a, a feature for you? It was a stunning amount of work. I think the biggest surprise with, was um, how much work it is, even though it was a little film. And uh, we had some laughs. Yes, I mean, even did. though we, we owed about know, five, six pages a day, Wow. we had a good time. Yes. There were instruments on set all the time. We sang a lot of music. It's a big, a lot of music in this thing. So, who, where is the music? What is, who wrote the music that's in the movie? Um, we had a wonderful musical director named Liz Gallagher, and she hooked me up with the whole indie scene. Mm -hmm. And it was very flattering. A lot of songs came in, and uh, written specifically for the movie. And two guys really, with the exception of one song, two guys, Charlton Pettis and Simon Stedman, wrote all the songs. And they're stunning. They're, they're really more than songs. good. They're stunning. That's amazing. Mm. So I mean it sounds like such a sad premise but it also sounds like there's a lot of music happiness. Is that Absolutely. Right? Okay, good. When you, when you begin to witness um, Sam coming out of his downward spiral uh, it's, it's through the course of a sort of musical montage which is quite uplifting and uh, really really enjoyable and again the music is um, really catchy and uh, it's excellent and it works perfect in the narrative of the story as well. Now you've been at Sundance so many times, does it feel different coming coming this time as a director? It does. Yeah. It does. I feel like the grown up in the room. I know I don't <laughs> act like it but I feel that way. <laughs> and we're missing some cast members who we should mention are also in the movie. No. No? no. no. no they're I mean here. his wife, we should mention no, her. No, we should yeah. probably She's mention her. And the other ones, whatever. Anton Yelchin is uh, one of the stars of the show. He's not here but we know him. <laughs> he should have showed up if he wanted to be here. And fish. And Selena, what was fish it like? Burns in it. What was it like for you filming this? It was fun. It was. Yeah. I mean, it was. It was a lot of heavy stuff that yeah. Billy and I had. But the subject matter. Was that's, yeah. That's hard. Yeah, but it was great. I mean, he was always very content and cool and calm. And um, the rest of the guys in the movie were really great. Very funny. Very musicals. It was. It was light as best as it could be.